for those of you that are going to ask, yes, the yacht is mine. Um, saved up all the money for the last 20 years on the Dole. It's great. You want to get on it. Seriously, if you ain't already, get down the Dole office. It's fucking fantastic. You just get to sit and chill in Mallorca, on the rum and cokes. Kids are playing in the pool, and I get to sit here and chat shit on a video. It's great, isn't it? Anyway, let's get on to business now, because um, obviously this is eating into my holiday. But yeah, Arsenal signed Sayad Kalasinic. I've probably butchered the geezer's name, <laughs> but there we go. Shit happens. But yeah, we've um, we've signed him on a freebie. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that signing. It's, it's an upgrade on Kieran Gibbs. Um, probably an upgrade on uh, Monreal. Although I think Monreal has been very good for Arsenal since since he's joined us. Very consistent. Um, eight out of ten most games. Pops up with the odd goal here and there, especially in the new formation that we've gone to with the three at the back. But. Um, from what I do know, I mean, I must admit, I'm not an expert on German football, but from what I do know, um, he is a little bit erratic in the tackle. And um, he's a little bit like Xhaka with his tackling. So that, that's a bit of a concern, but he's, he's quite quick. He's hench as well. The guy is built. So, yeah, it should, it should be good. And um, anything to get Kieran Gibbs out the door. That geezer has been taking the piss out of Arsenal for years. 70 bags a week. And what has he actually done? He's, what, 28 now? You know, it's really, the guy's a multi-millionaire out doing nothing. But there we go. Anyway, I want to come on to the big one now because the amount of people I've seen on um, Twitter talking about Arsenal have bid £122 million for Kylian Mbappe. I've probably butchered his name as well. But do people seriously fall for this shit every year? The amount of people I see talking about it and like... No, these are the same people that sit there and say that, oh, the ball don't back Wenger, the ball don't give him any money. Yet they all believe every transfer story about we bid 122 million for Mbappe. Really? What planet are these people living on? The only way we're spending 122 million is on the next three transfer windows combined. We are no way in a million years going to go and buy this geezer for 122 million. Don't believe it. I believe it when I see it. But, yeah, um, one last thing as well. Um, Apparently, Arsene Wenger was in Nice. Um, nice, Nice, whatever you want to call it. Probably is nice. Him and Gazidis are having a little stroll down the shops. Um, I've seen the rumours today that it, apparently, that's what makes me laugh, you know, apparently Lacazette's agent owns a villa in Nice. All right, okay, so how comes we only just found out about that today? Really? These people, man, seriously, jump off the bandwagon because you're fucking idiots, a lot of you. We ain't signing Lacazette. We ain't signing Mbappe. We're just going to get the freebie and a couple of others, but nothing major. Although saying that, if Wenger does pull Mbappe out the bag, then fair play to him. Because we're fifth in the league, we've got Europa League, and that's about it. So, you know, at the end of the day, if we pull it out the bag, then what a signing, because that kid is a superstar in the making. He's already a superstar, but he, he can just go on and on and on if he carries on doing what he's doing. He could end up the best player in the world. So, yeah, I'm not going to get over the moon about it. But we shall see. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my holiday. And um, leave your comments down below. Thanks very much for watching. If you ain't subscribed, please do. And uh, stick a like on the video if you can. One last thing. I want to say thanks very much to everybody who comments on my videos. I do try and answer all of them. Um, with YouTube, it's a bit iffy because sometimes the comments don't come up on the actual comment section. They come up as uh, notifications in the inbox. Yeah, and, and some of them you can't reply to. They're blocked messages, so you can't reply to them. And it's not that they're um, they're spam or anything like that. It's just you can't comment on some of them. So, so if I don't reply, it's not me being a cunt. It's just just how it is. So, anyway, we'll have a good day. Get out of the rain. <laughs> See you later.